Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be, well, we've maxed him out already, but we're going to be testing him out on ladders straight away. Then on my second channel, I'll be hopefully getting some power league games, testing him out in the competitive meta. So, as you can see, already got him to power 11, had so many boxes saved up. He's already super rare, so basically everyone should be able to unlock him pretty quickly. Should only take really around like 20 boxes maximum, I would say. Uh, so his gadget will explode people nearby his spirits you do get your spirits i think every three shots and then also his suit well his star power allows the healing from those spirits and it's 100 so i think it's around 2000 uh, every time you pick up one of those spirits and then you literally upon pressing gadget you can also deal around 2000 damage as well so opting for like any gear really going to be testing them out as well so yeah let's jump right into it right, guys jumping into the first game then so ladder right now or just a game in general for a few days at least it's going to be like the Edgar apocalypse literally it's going to be gus everywhere whenever you're playing shadow whenever you're playing low trophies gus is just going to be there it's going to be really funny to see i love it when a uh, brawler like this comes out of it, which is really low rarity and literally everyone gets it's really good fun so gus i think right now in the meta i've not really tried him out too much but i think he'll be a pretty decent brawler just because of the buffs i think without the buffs he would have been pretty bad but you can't really expect him to deal a lot of damage that's one thing that he's not going to be the greatest at because he is a support brawler so got to be wary of that that he's not really going to pack too much of a punch and that's why i've gone for the damage gear just because it'll allow him to at least um fight that a little bit longer so super you uh, a few people throw it towards uh, the enemies i've seen that already but you want to throw it towards your teammates or of course put it on yourself for the most part i would say put it on someone that's a little bit more aggressive you'll get a lot more value out of it but if you're looking to like collect gems for example or if someone is playing aggressive onto you then of course you can make uh, that play and pop it on yourself so Adran he's just going to score by himself even though I'm getting chased by Anita Bear that's probably going to be a big counter to Gus I imagine is those spawners because he doesn't deal like the utmost damage but here we come to pop our shield and just run into the BB and tank just so much like we pop our gadget right there and get the kill that is pretty toxic to say the least I wonder if uh, the other team can see the spirits I guess that they can but that's going to be the first game let's hop into the next one. all right guys jumping into the next game then so the first game was pretty plain simple really playing in like 750 matchmaking just for now I thought I'd be a little bit quicker to make a video just because normally you have to wait until like you push all the way up which will take multiple hours whereas i could just get a few people that have a high brawler and just show you guys what he's like straight away on ladders so jackie it's going to be running into our faces it's probably one of the worst maps to show gus on just because he's not going to be the best at scouting bushes unfortunately but we'll just go ahead and try it out anyway so adrian with a clutch saver he's going to pick up this uh the healing as well which is pretty nice i'm going to give our shield to adrian because it's pretty low so we want him to stay alive i'm going to use our well we should be able to get a bit of healing once i hit someone here okay nice i mean i'm just gonna go over it anyways just because it's in not really the best spot so now we've got a little bit of control here so this is this is perfect for when you have your super you want to be making sure you're in an aggro position i'm going to pop it on adrian here the only unfortunate thing with your super you've got to be really accurate because if you of course miss that's your super wasted right so you've got to be very careful of that so we're going to pop our super onto star dragon here he should be able to push onto the edgar and there's just uh there's just ghosts everywhere that's one thing especially in the late game i can imagine it being pretty op uh imagine like I, I don't know like a really passive map for example and then overtime pops and there's just ghosts everywhere you should be able to win overtime so easily so i'm gonna pop the shield on myself here and just go extremely aggressive look at all these ghosts right here should be able to pick all of them up and that is just so toxic again i can get my shield and it's just gonna be so hard for these guys to do anything so once you know you've got your super and there's also those ghosts on the floor you can be so aggressive and they're not going to kill you that is a pretty toxic trait maybe he's stronger than i thought uh i, I just remember playtesting him and literally every single creator said that gus is so underwhelming but these buffs there was i think three of them it is huge to me so we're going to pop our shield onto star dragon and he should just be able to jump in a specific specifically with a crow can't even get my words out because it's just so early in the morning but I imagine brawlers that uh, of course are assassins and uh, they can get so much value out of that shield you know i think of brawlers like buzz for example how are you going to kill them if they've got like that extra 4000 hp shield it's just incredibly toxic so going into overtime pretty shortly here i'm going to pop 
are super just on myself this time around just to stop us against the jackie and there should be someone pretty close here leon so the shield's going to help me out for now i'm just going to pass it over to star dragon because at least he's got a little bit of protection with his uh with his poison it looks like leon's going to go invisible that's not really going to help him out but we're going to pop our shield onto adran and that's what i mean i completely missed that one so that's just going to be your super gun so you've got to of course be super super careful we're going to pass this over to adran here and that should be a nice goal so of course right now it feels pretty strong and really exciting to test him out in this new meta let's hop into the next one all right guys hopping into the next game then so let me know whether you've unlocked gus yet gus yet and what level you actually got him towards i'll be interested to hear like how many boxes you guys saved up how many boxes it took you to unlock gus as well because everyone will be different right like normally for me it is quite easy to unlock a brawler because i'll have like a million boxes saved up so here we're gonna pop our gadget onto the colt that's gonna take him down that is just so funny that uh he just doesn't expect it like 1800 damage is actually a lot that is nothing uh to uh well just ignore like that is a considerable uh gadget right there and considering you can do it to multiple ghosts as well like that's gonna be so strong like imagine there's just a clump of like three or four ghosts and someone walks into it like you could one shot pretty much every single brawler in the game that is incredibly toxic so we're gonna pop our gadget onto the tick here you can see it actually gives a little bit of a knockback as well i didn't even uh, know it did that so imagine as well there's like multiple ghosts built up towards the goal like what are they going to be able to do because that uh, knockback on the gadget is a uh, pretty toxic We're just gonna pop our super onto the frank that's just some beasty hp like so much hp on the side of frank right there and again gonna give him that extra bit of shield and that's gonna be a goal so yeah gus he feels so strong right now let's hop into the next one all right guys jumping into potentially the final game here so me testing out gus and my first thoughts on where he'll lie on the meta you know to begin with yesterday i thought in the back of my head that Gus would probably be somewhere in and around like the middle of the pack. But after, after trying him out already, I think he's going to be a top 10 brawler easily. He feels so strong, especially utility wise. Like the super just feels so strong. It only takes four hits to get. Uh, his ghosts just pop around everywhere. There's just nothing bad about this brawler so far. And I just can't wait to try him out. The, the biggest thing, of course, is probably going to be aggro. But still that, I don't think he's going to suffer as much as I, I thought against aggro. Because, of course, if you've got your super built up ready, you can just pop that. And then by the time you've popped that, you're probably going to hit enough shots to then hit like a ghost close to you. That's going to heal you up for like 2,000. And it's just going to be really broken. So you can see here, it's going to pop into the Shelly and just auto him like crazy. And with the damage gear active, I'm just able to do deal so much damage. So that should be okay. Now that's a complete choke right there. But it's also really easy to hit uh, Gus's shots. I'm not too sure about his projectile speed. I think it's pretty fast. I wonder if it's uh, faster than certain brawlers. Uh, especially at the long on longer ranges it'll be interesting because then it could be a decent counter to some long range brawlers as well Let's see if we can get the crow down he's pretty annoying it's specifically that might be a decent counter to uh because i think i imagine if a uh, crow poisons you it will you will get less healing from your ghost so maybe that could be an interesting counter for sure uh, so i've got to be careful of that we've got a crow trying to sneak in I'm just going to run into this ghost to give us that instant healing should be able to take down the crow I'm going to pop our super as well and just run straight into the gale and just tank that super maybe that was a bit of a dumb play but i thought maybe we could waste his super and this isn't going to plan as much as the first one is or the other games just because we've got a gale and a shelly and a crow up against the nash i kind of feel bad for star dragon he's just getting straight up countered it's so ridiculously hard here we're going to pop the uh, super onto adrian that should give him enough hp he also gets the ghost as well and he's just unkillable at the moment we've got a shelly in this bush she should get taken down pretty easily i mean she's just trying to stay alive but that's going to be a nice goal right here so i'm so excited to test him out in power league as i said i'm going to be posting a video asap on my second channel on gus in power leagues just so you guys can get a deeper understanding of how strong he is but i reckon people will just be banning him out straight away because he just feels like that type of brawler so we're going to pass this away and that's going to be the win right there so that's going to be it for today's video guys so just a quick video testing him out giving you guys my initial thoughts on gus and it's going to be a really exciting time because literally everyone has this brawler unlocked and for me, I think he's way more exciting than Sam. Even though Sam is actually pretty fun to play, everyone was waiting for Gus, right? Specifically looking at sneak peeks, everyone was way more hyped for Gus. Well, there probably is a few people for Sam, but you get what I mean. He's such a fun brawler, especially like how he's designed as well. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. 
and I'll see you guys next time.